touchy. summery day in London and we decided to go out on walk because we're trying to um, change Gabe's sleep pattern so right now he kind of like has lunch at 12 but then he has his afternoon nap at around 4 which is quite late in the day so when he wakes up from his nap um, which is usually around two and a half three hours he doesn't go to sleep until like 11 p.m so my mom suggested that we kind of like try and shift his sleep time to right after he finishes lunch. Right now it's two o'clock, but he's still not asleep. So I'm hoping this journey will kind of like, I guess, coerce him into sleep. Anyway, I'll train this one. on right now today this is my OTD o OTD <laughs> it's a dress from ASOS it was on sale actually for 20 pounds I love it and those are my flip-flops in the corner but don't mind <laughs> my baby back at the back but yeah here we go I'm gonna try some I like it but it's quite wide and also look at the top kind of like slips down so I could go down the size but also it's quite revealing <laughs> Crap. 
home london is a cute little cafe it's quite busy all the time because there's quite limited seating it's quite a small restaurant but they serve french toast sweet and savory so we thought let's try both so i met up with ice and she had a gift for me which was really really cute i love going out to meet my other mama friends she had so much info so much wisdom to pass on to me really loved meeting up with her the sweet french toast was after a while quite sickening to the taste for me but my friend enjoyed it i on the other hand had a savory french toast topped up with salmon and poached egg with spinach my friend ordered a pistachio spanish latte and i had an ice latte because it was quite warm today overall i would probably recommend just to try it out hey guys so today i'm actually visiting a restaurant with my cousin and i thought i'll bring you along um, it's not often that I get to go out the house without the boys, so you know, um, I'm actually quite excited for this. Um, we are at a restaurant called Numidi, it's literally behind me right there. And there's my cousin there, Elias, if you don't remember. Um, he also has a food vlog on YouTube, I'll link it, I'll probably post it right now. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to try it. It's Algerian food. He's doing a series where he goes around the globe, literally through food. And today we're eating Algerian food. So here we go. Smoking like a cigarette. Oh, oh, ah, baby, I can smoke it. Yeah. Say, now you, I want to see when I wake up in the morning. Ah. We've just come out of Enish and we're on our way home. I just wanted to say a few words about it. So, Enish Africa is the second location for the Enish chain. It's an unbelievable beautiful spot it's so modern you know it has this whole instagram whole vibe so it's literally a place you want to sit take pictures chill relax with friends the food is actually enjoyable it's in a buffet type style so you go ahead and dish out what you want and they have food from all over africa hence the name um but obviously I mainly stuck to the Nigerian and Ghanaian dishes because it's basically what I know. But you know, from Kelewele to Wache to Jollof rice, you know, they have all of these dishes that are just wholesome and filling 
and it just warms your soul and it actually tastes good and I'm not even I'm not exaggerating here like I'm real critic when it comes to African food when it comes to just Ghanaian food and West African food in general but it was actually really tasty it was so so tasty um let me ask hubby what he thought of it Joey so what did you think authentic he's being attacked it. <laughs> it is it's really authentic um the food tastes really really good so yeah i would definitely recommend it on sundays they've recently just launched their bottomless brunch which obviously as the title says you get unlimited drinks um from one until about five o'clock if i'm not mistaken music is pumping it's loud in there but but sort of loud enough that you can actually enjoy your food and talk to the people you've come with. <laughs> I, better, I better stop because Gabe is attacking Joey Kins. What do you have to say? You were talking and then yeah, 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 On that note, it's home time. And it's me too, my cup of tea, I'm fun of it too, I'm a good dog, I'm a good dog, I'm a good dog, Joe forgot to shave a little piece of his hair. Now he's left with a ponytail. <laughs> 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 so we are nearly home and um, we are going to stop off at the park to shoot another piece of content for social media but yeah it's a short walk from the house so we thought we'll stop off before we go but that's our sunday done can't believe it the sun is shining in the sky it's almost like 7 30 or 7 o'clock even in the afternoon but it's literally sunny if this was dubai it would be dark wouldn't it I think it's best that I end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to keep making videos for you all. Thank you again. See you next week.